What's up guys, it's me Omar and I got another vlog today. I'm in the car once again and uh, so two pieces of information or a little bit of, it, of information have just been released pretty recently uh, over the course of yesterday and today. Um, so two things I want to talk about. The first thing is Android Wear which is really cool which is a new OS that Android is going to be coming out with for wearable devices like watches. And so, I mean, I know a lot of you guys probably don't think I like Android very much. Oops, excuse me, Mr. Car. Um, I'm not a big fan of Android phones and tablets and things like that. But I think this is a really cool thing, a really good idea, and, and a good thing to happen. Because, I mean, I think this will open up the marketplace when it comes to smartwatches. And, you know, obviously there's a lot of companies that are already talking about, supposedly talking about coming up with their own smartwatch. But then there's other companies as well that would probably never even bother messing with this if they had to come up with their own operating system, like big watch companies. But now they'll have the opportunity to do that. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what companies, how, what they're going to do with this. And so obviously the operating system is, is made by Android, but there'll probably be maybe slight different skin variations of it where they'll, it'll be tweaked the way it is on the cell phone devices and tablets and such. Just everyone, they're all Android, but they're, they're a little bit different. Um, but yeah, I can, like a really cool smartwatch from like Fossil, you know? Like, so, I mean, to me, that's the biggest thing. I think the biggest part that's been difficult for making smartwatches that will make, that will make uh, smartwatches really, um, hard to, to catch on is that it's a fashionable device. So how do you make a device either generally looking enough to where everyone will be okay with using it, but then at the same time make it to where people think it's cool and it looks nice and, and aesthetics and that type of thing. So I definitely look forward to seeing what Apple has, has in store and they've obviously had enough time to see what everybody else is doing and um, kind of coming up with. But um, I think this is really cool and really good news. So I'm really looking forward to seeing the different watches that maybe like Fossil and um, Seiko, or maybe just other big watch brands that are going to be coming up with their own their own smart watch in the future. So I think that'll be really good in the marketplace. And I definitely look forward to reviewing all those products for you guys as well. So I think it'll be a, a really fun new age. And so like I said, whenever Apple finally comes up with theirs, you know, there's already been talk about the whole health book aspects of the watch and I hope that's not completely what it's going to be all about it's just like all these diagnostics of your your health your glucose levels and heart rate monitors and things like that not that I don't like heart rate monitors for working out and stuff like that but I want my I want the smartwatch to do more than just that so so that's really cool so that's really cool stuff that's going to happen uh Android Wear is the, the operating system so we'll be hearing more about that soon okay the next thing that's just dropped in it there was a little bit a little bit of a tease of it yesterday in the, in, in the form of a rumor and then today an announcement is in the regards to VR goggles, virtual reality goggles. So everyone knows about the Oculus Rift by now, probably. Um, yesterday there was rumored on Wall Street Journal that said that supposedly Xbox is coming up with their own version of goggles, VR goggles. Whether or not they function the same way as the Oculus Rift, we don't know. And then um, today, PlayStation announced that they're the, the, the Morpheus project, that they've been working on their own VR goggles for gaming. And then, of course, today the same time also, Oculus Rift just released or announced their next dev kit too. Um, that'll be released in July for 350 bucks. So this is their newest version of the Oculus Rift that they'll be releasing for developers to be able to create games for them. So it's smaller, lightweight, has better features. It comes with like a camera that you actually can attach or mount to the to your computer, so that way um, it behaves or it, uh, interacts with that in the same type of way too. So this is really cool, but. I don't know guys, okay, this is where I stand with this. Oculus Rift is a really cool concept, really cool idea. I've seen it, I've actually used the Oculus Rift. I played with it at CES. Very impressive. I'm sure the newer version is much better now. There was barely any latency, it was really smooth. This is what I'm thinking though. And it probably is gonna depend on the genre of game that you're used to playing. So I'm thinking of like, games that are like immersive, obviously when you're in a world when you're walking around exploring, Maybe even those types of games that are like scary kind of games where it's really dark, like a uh, Bioshock or that kind of style of game where the first version, like when you're creeping through the shadows and stuff jumps out at you. That could see, I could see that being interesting. But I'm thinking, I'm thinking about games like first-person shooters where you're just running around, gunning and looking down hallways and corners. I'm just thinking about how much wear or how much. Uh, um, what's the word I'm, I'm trying to put, put out there? It's going to be awkward to use for long periods of time. Like I can't imagine playing a game for two two hours with these goggles on, which is how you know. I would imagine the average person plays, you know, like Call of Duty, those other types of games for like two hours on end, right? And to have goggles on that whole time, I just think like once you take them off, you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, like you're gonna look like a zombie, you know? And the thing with the Oculus Rift that I know is just like, it's really cool how it interacts with you when you move your neck. So like when you look this way, the game turns that way. But it's 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 weird because after a while, like it bothers your neck a little bit and then you kind of get tired of having to look all the time. You just want to like relax, chill 
sit still a little bit and just like play the game and not have to be constantly. So that's what I'm saying. Like I can see in, for short spurts of time, it would be super fun. I keep, I, for me, I think that in the, I posted a video on my YouTube channel uh, before this one of the, the Omni, which is um, in, to be work to work, to work in conjunction with the Oculus Rift, which allows you to walk. It's almost like a, a bowl treadmill type of thing where you can walk and move in the game. So that way you're not just like in a chair turning around. But I'm thinking like on a couch, Am I going to be doing this the whole time, looking side to side while I'm, while I'm playing my games? Like, it just seems like such a strange, um, what's the word I'm trying to think of, like, environment, you know? I, if you're in an arcade and you're playing arcade games and you have a helmet that you put on the goggles, you know, something to that kind of a setup, that would be that would be enjoyable. And at the same time, too, another thing is, like, if you're playing, like, a, like, a, like a shooting game or whatever, and you have the controller in your hand, you're not, like, pointing a gun at anything. You're, like, playing with a controller in your hand. So you're just looking around and still using the, the thumbstick to move around to do shooting and things. It's not like you're going to feel like you're in the game with the gun in your arms and, like, like maybe, like, the Wii is. Because I know the Wii has, like, the little holster type of thing where you can play with, like, pointing at, at things and moving around. So, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm still interested to see how they're going to, how this is going to evolve, how they're going to work it into games. Um, you know, I've... I've been playing with like these types of things for like a long. I remember when Virtual Boy came out. Do you guys remember Virtual Boy from Nintendo? Virtual Boy was like the Game Boy, the big red goggles. I didn't own a pair, but the uh, Blockbuster down the street from me actually let they rented them out. So I would rent them all the time. And oh my gosh, that was like draining. Like if you stuck your head in there and you played that game for like an hour, and this is when I was a little kid. Like you play for an hour, you take your head out, you feel like you've been asleep for like you know three hours. Like the light's so bright, your eyes are like all watery looking and. It was just a weird experience. Obviously, this the technology built into the, the, the displays of the Oculus Rift and probably all these gaming VRs is going to be a little bit better than than what that was because that was just like red pixelated animations and such. But um, I'm not sure how the whole thing with the headaches and things like that are going to be. I'm just thinking more of the physical, like my neck and my shoulders and my body constantly moving around and looking and ducking. I don't know. I just I think for certain games that would probably get really annoying and really old after a while. Well, I don't know. We'll have to see. But um, so that's some big news. So obviously Xbox is taking it very seriously. PlayStation is taking it very seriously. And Oculus Rift has already been there. So I think it's, I wonder how, I, it makes me curious to think how long Xbox and PlayStation have really been thinking about this. Or maybe they saw the Oculus Rift and they thought, hmm, you know, we could do that. And so now they've they've gone to the to their, uh, using their teams to create their own version of the Oculus Rift. So I guess the only time will tell. But I mean, this may be the next wave, the next evolution of gaming. I kind of doubt it will be. With, I'm curious to hear what you guys have to say about it. To me, this almost seems like um, like it would be like a fad, like 3D goggles, 3D glasses, watching movies 3D. Like how many people own 3D TVs and consistently use their 3D glasses to watch 3D movies? Like I don't know too many people that, that continue to. So it was really cool at the beginning, but like I said, it's all, it's really going to all come down to the developers and the game and the game companies that create create software for that and to see what they do with it. That guy almost hit me. Wow, thank you. Um. So I guess it remains to be seen, but I'm optimistic. I'm just not completely sold just yet. So anyways, guys, that's all I wanted to chat about today. If you have any questions or if you completely disagree with me or if you agree with anything that I said, post them in the comments below. Let's have a discussion. Let's talk about it. And uh, that's it for today. So I'll see you guys in the next vlog.